it's nice to see somebody in, the, in my old shirt, you know. I understood then what Time Time was all about. It needed somebody to stick the ball in the net. We got the best fans in the country. This is the only job I've ever wanted. I've always said I wanted to play for Newcastle at some stage, if it's a dream come true. I tell you, there's no better place to play a game of football than at St James's Park. Be starting to go where it belongs. I think I said when I left in seven, in '84, was it? It's seven years ago now. That this was the start. Introduce you to the new manager of Newcastle United. He's well known to you all, and he's well known to the people in the region. And we take great pleasure in introducing him to you now. And I'd like if you would come through the doors, please. Guaranteed. I can honestly say that there's no job in football I've ever wanted. This is the only job I've ever wanted. Newcastle United to knock this one through. Kelly with a touch. Peacock. And 2 0. It's O'Brien. Through now for Peacock. Peacock can make it three. Turns, chip. I looked at the bus as we were going down there and. I thought, you know, God, I don't want to be the manager who takes this team down into the third division because it, it wouldn't have been totally fair on myself and Terry. I mean, we inherited somebody else's players. We inherited a club that was absolutely uh, devoid of leadership from top to bottom. So in many, many ways, we, we found ourselves in a boat trying to paddle out with people that, I think if we're honest, they wouldn't have been our choice as footballers. But nevertheless... Those same players did us proud. I couldn't have asked for any more. Peacock, lovely ball to Robert Lee. And it's in, and Newcastle have taken the lead. Kevin Brock's on the end of it. Here goes O'Brien. Beautifully done by Liam O'Brien. That was absolute perfection. Lee now for Cole, and now it's Robert Lee. 2-0. And because we dictated the game, and as you say, quite rightly, we passed it very, very well, and he was able to get in, but when he got in, he finished like maybe Jimmy Greaves would have finished. That was the game that said, hey, we're here, we're in the Premier League, and, you know, you better remember us, because we're going to be around for a while. Cole's partnership with Peter Beardsley was just devastating. Beardsley himself seemed to get better with age. Some of the goals he was scoring bordered on the ridiculous. Still Beardsley, Beardsley! That is an incredible goal from... Cut that one out, Beardsley's picked it up. Cole, Beardsley, that's a mag... Columbia for an international since uh, he last played for Newcastle. Here he is, past Ruddock. Ferdinand turns and scores! Ferdinand. That's great play and the control and the pass for Ginola. He's run beyond McAteer, 2-1 to Newcastle. Newcastle respond the only way they know how, with brilliant attacking play of their own, Aspria! When you do that with footballers, like he said about Leeds, and when you do things like that about a man like Stuart Pearce, I'm, I, I've kept really quiet, but I'll tell you something. He went down in my estimation when he said that. We have not resorted to that, but I'll tell you. You can tell him now if you're watching it. We're still fighting for this title, and he's got to go to Middlesbrough and get something. And, and I'll tell you, honestly, I will love it if we beat them. Love it. Run the results from Christmas. Of, of all the things that happened this year, I still think getting on the bus after the Liverpool game um, and taking part in a game like that, even though we'd lost, was probably for me the highlight of the season. I thought that is that is a game of football 
that anybody anywhere in the world want to watch. Kevin Keegan had done it again. The press conference for the Shearer signing was just unbelievable. Can the £15 million pound man pull it off? Perfectly done, and Shearer gets his first for Newcastle. And on a hat trick. Shearer! In the centre, it's Silvio Maric. It's Alan Shearer. That's the way to finish it. How he drifted last night. Now Langley Park's most famous footballing son was taking charge of the team he'd worshipped as a boy. I wanted the job. I knew I was ready for it. I knew I could do it. And I had, a, you know, just a, a great um, experience behind me. You know. It's Laurel Robert. Oh! Hey, really? Shearer. Oh, he's... that is Solano for Shearer. He buried lines though Let me supporters were absolutely fabulous um, for me they're the best supporters in in the country by far people who make the club what it is are the people who support it they just want to be proud of their their city and the focal point of the city is the football club the fanaticism of the fans um, it is fantastic once you've been here you don't really want to leave because no you know when you leave, you're not going to get that feeling again. Playing for your own team is special. But to play for a special team like Newcastle in terms of the tradition of the club with people like Melbourne before me and people like that, you just can't put it into words. I'm very, very fortunate and honoured and privileged to have played for Newcastle United for 14 years. Really enjoyed every minute of it. If somebody comes here as a manager and it's just another job, you never understand this crowd.